Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. Uh, in today's video, what I'm going to do is show you how to build a rating system uh, that you can put into your app. And uh, basically, this rating system, it's a five-star rating system. It'll allow you to um, enable your users to go and rate you know, products or songs or whatever it is that uh, may be relevant for your app. In this particular example, I'm going to be rating uh, users uh, just for a, an example so you can see how this works. Now, the first thing that we need to do is um, install the plugin. I've actually already installed it um, on here, and it's the Bootstrap Star Rating Input. So if you're not familiar, basically come over here to install the plugins and here it is bootstrap star rating input uh, made by bubble and you just uh, install it I'm not going to uninstall it because it'll mess up the design right now but basically you would go and install that and the next thing that we want to do is actually come over here to the database and bubbles not very strong at math um, so for this rating system we also we, we want to build it so that there's a uh, an average uh, rating for the uh, the user and so to do that what we need to do is uh, collect a bit of uh, a bit of data now one of the things we want to have is the average rating uh, which will be of, of type number the other thing is we need uh, a number of ratings uh, so if the user has one rating or if they have a hundred ratings uh, we need to have that um, in the denominator so we can do the calculation and the other thing that we need is the total rating sum. So that'll be in the numerator. Um, and we want to have that uh, start out as zero because uh, we're going to be getting the ratings and we'll keep adding those uh, cumulatively. Uh, so that is basically the, it for the, uh, the database setup. Let's get into the design here. Now what I did here, again, we're going to do this for users and I just um, search for the users that I have already in the database here um, and it'll show their email just pick the email and then this is basically just going to show who the the user's email is and here is the uh, actual star rating um, now you can choose different sizes on here uh, really small it's very large uh, you can go and you can change the step value so uh, you can go by half a star um, by a full star and, and so forth I'm just going to leave it at the default at half a star and you can do the max uh, as well I just picked five again the default value uh, next um, what we're going to do is we need to submit the value simple workflow for this uh, what we're going to do is make a change to a user and what we're doing is we're using the drop down uh, user we're going to search for a user based on the drop down user values email and whoever that user is we're going to go and take the total rating sum and if you remember it's initialized at zero and we're going to take that user's total rating sum and then we're going to add that star ratings value so if they start out, they'll start out at zero. If they get a five star rating, the sum will be five. If a user gets rated a second time, their value starting out is going to be five, and then they add another five to it. So that's basically a simple math problem or equation here. And then what we do is we go and we do the uh, math for taking the results of the total. And then we divide it by the total number of ratings. Initially, it's one. Over time, that'll grow, and that'll give you your average. And then what we want to do is we want to increase the number of ratings. So this is the way we increase our, our denominator here. And then over in this area here, we've got a repeating group. It's searching for users, and it's basically searching for the user whose drop-down value email matches. And then I just have some, uh, you know, the current user's email. And then I also put in here what their average rating is. And I put a format in here 
uh, with only one decimal place. If I didn't put this in here, then you can get a very long decimal place showing up, which you probably don't want to have. Uh, the next thing that I have on here is the star rating, and I'm basically taking the average rating from the current cell um, and showing that. And let's do a quick demo. So let me do a refresh here, and let's see, we're going to refresh. I'm going to pick a user number two, and you can see how this changes the value. I'm going to give them a five star. I'm going to submit the rating, and then they are user number two. They've got an average rating of five. I'll give them another five star rating. So five star rating, but then let's say they get a one star rating. And you can see that this drops it down. If you give them another one star rating, it gives them another uh, drop down as well. Uh, so that's basically how this works for giving ratings. Again, you can give it to users, but you can give it to if you're doing car reviews or music reviews or whatever it may be. Um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions about it, certainly leave me a comment. And I thank you for watching this uh, video.